Hey guys, Toolman Tim here. Welcome back to the workshop where we build business, create community, find freedom, and share success. It's Wednesday morning, which means it's time for another edition of Tool Time Gear Review. And this week I've got an odd one for you. This is literally the first piece of gear, the first gadget I've ever bought strictly to do measurements for YouTube videos. I've since picked up a couple other ones. I had my electrical monitor, things like that. But I figured, hey, if I'm using it, I'm sure there's other people out there who'd like to know about it. So I want to share with you guys the Megson Decibel Meter. Hey right, guys, real quick, if you're new here, well, you wouldn't know the routine, would you? But if you want to know more about me, run by toolmantim.co. That's toolmantim.co. Find out everything you need to know. Monthly newsletter, weekly podcast, social media links, and the shop where I have well over a hundred listings of Amazon products that I've used in my handyman business that make me money or save me money. Solutions to problems you might have. We have hand tools, we have painting tools, we have landscaping tools, and we have preparedness items. So run by there, check out anything that meets the Toolman Tim seal of approval. All right, so this product that I picked up a while back on Amazon all came from when I did my first review of the Furman Tri-Fuel Generator. Everybody kept saying how damn loud it was. And either I'm deaf or my definition of loud is different than someone else's. But, you know, trying to tell somebody how loud something is in a YouTube video is like trying to explain to them what the color purple tastes like. You just can't do it. The only way to do it is right there, is a unbiased third party a monitor that can stand back at 7 meters, 21 feet, and measure the decibel read, er, ratings and let you know. So I thought, that can't be too bad. So I picked this little puppy up on Amazon. It's got 4.2 star rating out of 460 reviews, which is kind of low for some of that stuff. This thing is like self-explanatory, but I want to show you. So there's the power button, okay? This will just, wherever I'm talking, you can see the numbers going up and down as I talk, whatever. Yep, so then you can set it to max min. So if we got it set there, that's at max. So that's going to record, obviously, the loudest decibel reading it gets anywhere at that time. Then you can go to minimum, and that's going to record how quiet I can be, which I really can't be. Then if you want to hold the reading, you can hold the button down. Or if you hold it down a little bit longer, you get a backlight. That's all there is to it. Really super simple product, comes with a little windsock on it, which I keep knocking off because it never seems to fit the way you want it to. Takes nine volt batteries. You know how much I hate, I mean love nine volt batteries. However, I did put my EBL rechargeables in there. Gonna start putting them in all of my little gadgets to see how long they last. Did a review on them, I like them so far. So if you're interested, you wanna know a little more about it, the model number is MS-M86 and it can only measure temperatures between minus 4 and 176 degrees Fahrenheit, which is minus 20. So if you're doing sound readings at colder than minus 20, you got bigger issues than a, uh, an accurate decibel uh, reading meter. So I thought that was interesting. I didn't know why. Obviously, sound must have an issue in cold. And we'll talk about the decimal um, scale in a few minutes here because I learned something new and I thought I'd share it with you guys too. You know, the more we know, right? So it automatically shuts off after 15 minutes. So if you happen to leave it on, you don't need to worry about the battery running dead, even though you use rechargeables, not a big deal. It has a range of 30 to 130 decibels with an accuracy of 1.5 decibels plus or minus. Uh, and it has almost an instant response time at about half a second. So basically anything, anything you need to know, it'll do it. You guys will see in a few minutes here, I'm gonna measure my, I just bought a brand new still backpack blower. We're gonna measure that compared to the other one and we'll see, I got the BR600 and the BR800. I couldn't find a decibel rating on the 800 online. So we're gonna test them side by side and we'll see which one is louder. So if you're wondering about the decibel scale like I am, it's not a straight linear scale. You know, if, you know it, it's what they call a log room, log room, <laughs> I knew it. logarithmic. So if you're interested in the decibel scale, like I am, it's not a straight linear kind of one-to-one progression. It's a logarithmic scale. Got the word right that time. You won't see it on the outtakes though. Anyway, so that basically means that when you go from 40 to 50, it increases by a factor of 10. So 
50 decibels is 10 times louder than 40 decibels. You would think, hey, it's only 25% louder. Nope, it's not. Every 10 decibels you go up, you are going up by a factor of 10. So 50 decibels is 10 times louder than 40 decibels. It's not real intuitive, but that's how it works. Now, secondly, you can't add the two readings together. I learned a few things. It's really kind of cool. So if you have one item running at 80 decibels and another item running at 80 decibels, obviously you don't have 160 decibel reading. What you actually have is 83 decibels, because if you go up by three decibels, that's the same as doubling the loudness. So if you put two items side by side, both at 80 decibels, you end up getting a reading of 83 decibels. They double each other, and they go up three points on the decibel scale. I'll bet most of you didn't know that, because I sure as heck had no idea about that. I thought that was really cool. I know a lot of people know the 10 thing, but the doubling thing and the, the three points, I thought that was really neat. So honestly, for 20 bucks, this was a pretty cool toy to have. If you guys, if you're the type of person that's, say, working in a loud environment and you need to know if your hearing protection is sufficient enough, or if you're a crazy guy that mud bogs like my brother-in-law and you just want to know how friggin' loud your engine really is, well, this is the tool to figure it out. Or maybe you want to start doing some review videos on YouTube. Also a great idea. But for 20 bucks, a decibel meter, I really liked it. The company is called M-E-N-G-S-H-E-N. -E -E There's a lot online, all look like this, but this was the guy that I ended up picking up because the price was right. Takes a nine volt battery, seems to run a long time. The backlight is really good. If you don't have, it, it can be a little hard depending on the angle you look at. So about a 45 degree right there is about perfect. You go too flat and it washes out. You go too high and it disappears altogether at, uh, if it's perpendicular to you. So I don't know. I really like this product. It certainly meets my seal of approval. You guys will see a few more reviews of some of the different YouTube gear I've picked up over the years uh, down the road. But I thought this would be the first one to share with you because it was the first one I specifically bought just to do testing for YouTube videos. So I must be hitting the big time, hey? <laughs> anyway, that's it for me this week, guys. If you guys have ever played around with a decimal uh, scale, let me know if you have another product you like or you might, you know, if you have a recommendation for another little gadget that I can pick up that might help me in my review videos, let me know. I love this kind of stuff. It's a lot of fun. I get a good little collection of gadgets and things like that. And if you're new here, introduce yourself, throw your name in the comments below. Let me know who you are. Let me know what you're an expert in because I love to meet new people and learn new things and share them with our community. So that's it for me, guys. As always, stay happy, stay healthy, and have a great week.